So friends, you want to know who Donald Trump really is? Well, ask those closest to him. People who spent lots of time with him behind closed doors. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, it's a bit of a slow news day on the legal front. So with your kind permission, I'd like to talk about something we saw at the Democratic National Convention. Something that I thought was pretty important and pretty impactful. Someone who knows Donald Trump best. A former senior staffer, a former press secretary, and a self-described de facto Trump family member, pulled back the curtain on Donald Trump, on the man that he really is. Here is the new reporting. This from NBC News. Headline, ex-Trump press secretary Stephanie Grisham says he, Trump, mocked his supporters, calling them basement dwellers. And that article begins, Trump White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham disavowed her former boss Tuesday evening and voiced support for Kamala Harris for president in remarks at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. In her brief speech, Grisham said that she used to be not just a Trump supporter, but also a true believer who became part of Trump's family and spent major holidays with him. Quote, I saw him when the cameras were off, behind closed doors. Trump mocks his supporters. He calls them basement dwellers, she said. Grisham shared a few anecdotes about her experience working with Trump. And boy, did she ever share some anecdotes about her observations of and her experiences with Donald Trump in her capacity as a senior staffer, a press secretary, and a de facto Trump family member. Now, Ms. Grisham's comments were quite brief. They ran about a minute and 55 seconds. But rather than play them for you, because there's a good bit of background noise, after all, she was giving these comments at the Democratic National Convention talk about a packed house, a raucous house, an enthusiastic house, you know, a house full of folks who are making it more clear by the day that we're not going back and that, yes, we will be fighting for freedom, among other things. Rather than play you the comments, I'm going to read them. They're very brief. Like I say, they span about a minute and 55 seconds and then we'll talk about them on the other side. Quote, I wasn't just a Trump supporter. I was a true believer. I was one of his closest advisors. The Trump family became my family. I spent Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's all at Mar-a-Lago. I saw him when the cameras were off. Behind closed doors, Trump mocks his supporters. He calls them basement dwellers. On a hospital visit one time, when people were dying in the ICU, he was mad that the cameras were not watching him. He has no empathy, no morals, and no fidelity to the truth. He used to tell me, it doesn't matter what you say, Stephanie. Say it enough and people will believe you. But it does matter. What you say matters, and what you don't say matters. On January 6th, I asked Melania if we could at least tweet that while peaceful protest is the right of every American, there's no place for lawlessness or violence. She replied with one word, no. I became the first senior staffer 
to resign that day. I couldn't be part of the insanity any longer. When I was press secretary, I got skewered for never holding a White House briefing. It's because, unlike my boss, I never wanted to stand at that podium and lie. Now here I am, behind a podium, advocating for a Democrat. And that's because I love my country more than I love my party. Kamala Harris tells the truth. She respects the American people, and she has my vote. Thank you. Friends, in one minute and 55 seconds, Ms. Grisham said a mouthful. And she said those things based on her first-hand observations of Donald Trump from at least August of 2015, when she started working as a press aide to Trump's 2016 presidential campaign, through the evening of January 6th, 2021, when she resigned. So think about it. Based on more than five years of personal observation, personal interaction, directly dealing with Donald Trump for more than five years, Miss Grisham told us he's a liar, he has no empathy, he has no morals, he has no fidelity to the truth, and he mocks his own supporters, calling them basement dwellers. You know, friends, on November 5th, we need to vote Donald Trump into the waiting and open arms of courts and prosecutors where he belongs so he can be held accountable for his crimes. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.